We've had One UI 6.1.1 on the foldable series for almost a month now. So we know some features and some of the big updates that Samsung have made to it, but there's also some hidden ones. So today we're gonna to uncover all the ones we found. Welcome back to Sam Mobile TV. You're here with Daniel. I want to deep dive into some of the new features of One UI 6.1.1. No one really else has talking about. I've got a few of them to uncover. So settle in, let's go through the list and dive deep. Starting first with Smart Select. Samsung have completely overhauled the Smart Select menu and the feature and functions of how it works. Before we dive into what's new about it, let's go back and revisit what it was. Smart Select originally started as an S Pen function and then slowly got expanded into the edge panels of all of Samsung's phones. You basically swipe out the panel, select the option of crop that you'd like and crop out that portion of the screen to either save it as a separate photo, copy it to your clipboard, which it does automatically, or just share it directly from the screenshot menu that comes up afterwards. You could draw on it, a couple other things as well. But basically, it was just this nice, convenient way of clipping a portion of the screen instead of screenshotting the whole thing. Samsung, for some reason or another, has decided to change it. Rather than it being its own edge panel, Samsung have made it its own app that lives in the app's edge panel. So it still is there, it's just now an app versus it being its panel itself. With One UI 6.1.1, you swipe out from the edge panel and you select in the top right of it the little smart select cropping icon. Now, rather than seeing a bevy of menu options and seeing a bunch of different ways you can crop and clip the screen, seems like I've just got this little animation overlay that tells you to tap or draw to select the part of the screen you want. So the tapping part's convenient because it will just crop it to the part of the screen it thinks that you're after, or you can draw and it will just create sort of like a square from the shape that you've drawn. Now, what I've noticed with this new one is that there's a couple of things that have been removed. You no longer can create GIFs from Smart Select, which was a very powerful and fun function to use, even albeit not that well used. Still was there and was a nice option to have. What you've got here are very similar sort of functions to what was there before. You have the copied clipboard, which before it did it automatically, now it's an intentional thing you have to do. There is the share icon, so you can share directly that portion of the screen that you've clipped. You've got the download arrow, so you can save it to your gallery. And then next to that, you have the text. So Smart Selects always could extract text, which I really liked about it. They have made it easier because now when you just tap on text while Smart Select has been launched, it will just select and highlight it straight away. It's much less steps to do that versus what it was before. Then you've got the three dot menu, which allows you to pin it in the same way you could before. You've got edit, which takes you to the edit screen where you can annotate on it using your pens or your finger. And then you've got add to note. So you can add it directly into a Samsung note file and edit it in there if you wish. The corners of the edge panel sort of crop. You can expand out to ex experience and add more area to it. I found it to be a bit finicky when you have gesture navigations turned on, especially if you're trying to drag it out to the screen or bring it in from the screen constantly goes back. So Samsung may need to put in some better edge detection for the areas where Smart Select is being used. Depending on what else is in the photo, Samsung's AI will give you other different options, whether that be translate functions, whether that be adding to note functions, or sketch to image, which is also part of the Smart Select option now as well. You can directly do use Galaxy AI and draw something to add it in. Pretty clever. So that's the new Smart Select. Let me know what you think about it. Next, we have Samsung's new handwriting help menu inside Samsung Notes. Very, very little function that has been basically just upgraded versus what it could do before. It now has some very intelligent ways of helping your handwriting be a lot neater. The main one here is called Smart Guide My. So what you can do with this is when you start writing and let's say you're not the most consistent handwriter when it comes to keeping things lined up, automatically it will draw a line under like one of the letters and then bring all the letters onto that line so it keeps it neat and consistent on your paper. Well, glass. Well, depending on the fold. You know, it is glass. We can carry on. So you've got to make sure it's turned on. There's a little settings toggle with the handwriting help icon inside Samsung Notes. So make sure it's on. I think it's on by default, so you shouldn't have any issues. But this was a cool one that we found that's One UI 6.1.1 exclusive at the moment, 
that will likely get upgraded when the other phones get upgraded as well. The other ones that are in there have kind of been in and around before the align letters and fix the shape of letters. That's just all been part of Samsung Notes for a while, but the, the first one that we showed you, that's new. That's a new one. So if you're someone who likes to take a lot of notes and you have an S Pen for your Fold in particular, because this is probably more of an S Pen feature versus one that's can potentially be on a flip, even though you can use your finger, but I wouldn't. Use this, turn it on. Next, and this one maybe has got a little bit of airtime, but it's the Message Composer. Samsung quietly upgraded an updated Galaxy AI with Z Fold 6 and One UI 6.1.1 to include a composer as part of their keyboard offering as opposed to just rewriting something you've already written. The composer can work on any app. There's actually no app that this doesn't work on because the whole idea of it is that it's a keyboard function, not an app function. So you could be in Outlook writing an email. You want it to be a little bit more professional, easily go in here, type the prompts that you'd like the email to be, and then choose the sort of the theme and the style that you'd like it to be output in. It does give you fields that you will need to enter yourself, but that's a couple of bits of information that you should know, like the person's name, and then you just fill that in and then put it straight into the email text. But it's not just for emails. This could be for a social media post. So if you're posting a lot to social media, and you just want to be more careful with what you want to say, or you can't quite articulate it properly, write a prompt and then let the AI sort of post it for you. You can choose the style. You can make it be polite, casual, professional. It's up to you because the options are there. You just input the prompt, give it a sentence or two, and then it will structure it and write it out for you off the back of what you've created. Give it a go. If you're using a Z Fold 6 now, write a prompt for a comment below. I'd like to see how everyone else uses it and what else comes out of it when you try it yourselves. And the last one is inside the gallery. I've not seen anyone mention this. Maybe because it's been on other phones before, but the fact it's now on Samsung's gallery built in, it's weird that no one sort of highlighted it. Inside the gallery, when you have a photo of people where there's like a background and a foreground, you can separate that through a live effect. In my version of the software, it's called 3D Photo, but I believe this is older versions of the firmware. As the firmware has been updated, it's changed to live effect. When you swipe up on the photo, Samsung give you AI contextualized recommendations. Sometimes it's either remaster, if it's a photo of people, it can turn it into a portrait photo for you. Whereas they've now added the 3D Photo slash live effect option as well. When you click on it, it sort of goes through the little AI sort of stars and says generating live effect. And then what will happen after that's done is it will create like a mini sort of video where that live effect of the background and the foreground sort of moving in tandem with each other is created. You can share that straight away or you can save that as a copy. When you save that as a copy, it'll save it as a little four second video clip and then you can go do what you like with it after that. But it's pretty fun and it's not meant to be anything too serious but it's in there inside the gallery. And I thought maybe you guys might want to know about it. So I showed you. We hopefully aren't too far away from the full launch of either One UI 6.1.1 or the One UI 7 beta. So when all of that stuff happens, this is where you'll want to be. So hit subscribe to Sam Mobile TV and you'll be the first to know when all this stuff drops. See you next time. Thanks.